know when that shark bites with his teeth, dear. Thank you very much, Holly. Now, a trio of tales by much-loved children's writer Margaret Mahi have come to life on stage these school holidays. Leading children's theatre company Tim Bray Productions presents The Great White Man-Eating Shark and Other Stories of Auckland before taking it on a tour of Northland. We welcome the four performers, Dylan, Erica, Kat, Callum, as well as musician Oliver. Yes. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Hello. Studio. So, let's get into the, into the show. So, there's... Three different separate stories in the production. Um, can you tell us about each of them? Let's start with you, Dylan. You start and tell us about The Great White Man-Eating Shark. So, The Great White Man-Eating Shark is all about Norvin wanting to get all the water to himself in Caramel Cove Bay. So, he comes up with a wicked plan of dressing up in a sh with a shark fin on his back and scaring the other swimmers out of the water. So wow. clever. Yeah. So clever. <laughs> well, and that was an answer with energy, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, absolutely. That's such a good book. <laughs> Erica, the boy with two shadows. Well, the boy with two shadows, it moves on with our boy here, and he's got a wonderful relationship with, he doesn't look like a shadow now, but he does in that story. And um, they do everything together, and then a witch comes along. <gasps> and says, look, I'd like to go on holiday if that's all right. Would you look after my shadow? Because it's a bit of a nuisance while I'm trying to have fun. And um, he kindly agrees. I attach my shadow to the two of them, and my shadow causes havoc. Oh, I bet it does. Fun. A witchy yeah. shadow. And Cat, the boy who was followed home. The boy who was followed home features hippos. Um, Norvin, again, is followed home by a hippopotamus on his way home from school. But every day more and more come until there are 27 hippos on his front lawn. And a lot of hippos. It is a lot of hippos. Too many hippos, one could say. Um, so his father calls in the witch and says, look, we've got to get a solution to this. But there are unexpected consequences. Ooh, oh, I like it. Nice. Connections all around. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, those are the stories. Ever missed any out? Okay, so Callum, between the four of you, you play 15 different characters. We sure do. Wow. Uh, yeah, no, it's really interesting. Um, I find uh, some of our characters came through on the first reading of the script and some of them kind of developed over the rehearsal period. But it's uh, personally I find a lot of fun in, in giving each character a different voice, a different accent, and I'm lucky to have a range of ages with my characters. So I play a very young boy and then a posh father and then a big fat man who's, I've made Australian. Uh, wow. Not sure how Margaret <laughs> nice. would feel about that, but that's what I've chosen to do. So that must mean a lot of costume changes for you all. I mean, do you, what, whose side of stage ripping you out and putting you into other things? So we do have some pretty intense costume changes. Um, one scene in about 15 seconds, us three have to go from school uniform and teacher uniform, school uniform, into fat suits, togs, towels, hats, and be on stage dancing and singing uh, before the next line of the chorus comes through. So it's pretty hectic backstage. We're lucky to have a fantastic stage manager, Katie, who really helps us out. Mm. Like, just literally rips you out of your clothes. <laughs> much. Yeah. Yeah. You pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she'd make sure everything tidy and ready to go. And, Getting all our big bellies on. <laughs> okay, and I wanted to know this with all these different characters that you're playing, and I'm not aiming this just at you, Dylan. I'm aiming it at everybody. Do you ever get confused and slip into a, the wrong character when you're on stage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, luckily, one of the characters that I play just happens to be a very good actor. Right. So, <laughs> as long as I stay good at acting while I'm on stage, I'm not going to forget. Your bases are covered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, that's very good to hear. Now, Oliver, you've done the music and the songs for this production, is that right? Uh, I improvise all the incidental music, but all the songs were written by Marshall Smith. Right, and this is your first uh, sort of association with the Tim Bray production? Yes. And how's it f how are you finding it? I mean, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> and But it's, uh, I've been doing improvisation on stage for a while. I did a musical in Shanghai back in five years ago. So I, I quite find kind of this is my language and this mm. is sort of thing I'm doing. And I found my strength in it, yeah. and he's, I really he's enjoy very it. good. Give you a kick, yeah. you just go for it. Yeah. Mm. Just the go first for it. run through the script, he was nailing all the tension mm. and the emotion and the oh, fear yeah. and the funny bits immediately. It was incredible to watch him. Brilliant. Play. And, yeah. you know, Oliver and everybody, Tim Bray Productions just ooze energy and they ooze fun. Mm. Uh, you know, tell us a bit more about how the production company works. Do you just all get together once a year, or are you constantly working? How does it all work? It constantly changes um, right. with uh, going from 
show to show, uh, we're requiring requiring funding for each show individually, and so um, and then actors audition for different parts individually from show to show, and so yeah. it changes a lot. But yeah, a lot um, that stays the same at the same time is the energy, the fun, and we really want to get children into theatre. Yeah. Nice. And you've got to keep it up to you too, you know, because sh children will take no prisoners if they don't like what you're doing. No, <laughs> they are honest. The, the kids yeah. today were very interested in shouting yes. out. Uh, any time a new character or something they didn't like was happening, it was change this. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, it must be hard work in that hippo outfit. It must get really hot. It is very warm. <laughs> <laughs> so, Erica, so you have people come along and you're, you're encouraging the kids to dress up, is that right? That's right. How does yeah. that work? Well, we want them to dress up in, in Margaret Mahi characters or anything that they can think of and then at the beginning of the show we get them to come down onto stage and show everyone their wonderful creations mm. and then teach them about the magic of what happens when you take a bow in the theatre. And Margaret Mahi is such a Amazing oh. writers, too. Oh, the wonderful. stories are incredible. Yeah, the premises of these stories are so they're so fun and so like so strange. Yeah. Like I've never I don't think I've ever heard of a story where a boy is given a witch's shadow to look after. Yeah, yes, or amazing. something like that. The creativity it's, of mm, Margaret Mahi's like the skill stories. in her writing and the depth in her stories, she's right. managed to capture child's imagination and the adults who come to see it love it just as much yeah. as the kids. Yeah. Yeah. We had, you know, yeah. my mum's a teacher and she loved it. She was laughing through the whole show and yeah, oh, I and a that... great extension of your skills too, playing all these characters, mm. isn't it? When you get that much fun with the Margaret yeah. Mahi story. Yeah, love it. Oh, excellent. Well, that's something to do these school holidays. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming in. Yeah. The Great fun. White Man Eating Shark and Other Stories is playing at the Pump House Theatre, Takapuna in Auckland, until Saturday, July the 21st. It then heads to Whangarei, Kitty Kitty, and Kaitaia from July 27th. You can check out the Tim Bray website for details. And make sure you stick around too, as these guys are going to be performing the Hippo Song at the end of the show. Yeah, a little sneak peek so you can get inspired and head along to the live shows. Go and support them.